Alright guys, welcome to another video. Today we're gonna compare two paints. Well, actually we're gonna compare two type of paints uh, because I want to show you guys the difference and what the things you can do with these kind of paints. We're gonna try to keep it short. We're gonna try to keep it straightforward and we're gonna start right now. So we are going to paint three different kind of spoons with these paints. We're gonna paint a black and white spoon, a transparent spoon and a metallic spoon and I'm also gonna clear coat all of them so it's gonna be really visible what the difference actually is between these two paints and for what you can use them. First up is the transparent paint. I'm gonna do three drops like that. I'm gonna add a little bit of 4030 and a little bit of thinner because it's a little too thick. Now the 4030 and the 4011 are going to make this paint more transparent and easier to shoot. I always spray out the first bit because that's still unmixed with 4030 and 4011. So let's get started. First we'll do a metallic spoon. Take our transparent spoon. And then the black and white. Right, next up, candy. I took three drops. These ball of candies, they last super long. few drops of 4030 and I'm not gonna use any 4011 because usually it's already thin enough to airbrush it. Oh yeah, by the way this is the Candy 2O Creep Blue which is a really beautiful light blue uh, which is really nice on some lures. Alright Candy 2O let's start with the metallic spoon Right guys, we're gonna get these clear coated. Now, I can clearly see the difference and especially after the result you will see a big difference. But just so you guys know, I didn't mix them up. I'm gonna put like a blue little line on the spoons with the candy on. So that we know these are the spoons with the candy on and these are the ones with the transparent paint. Let's get some clear coat on them. Right guys, the results are in. Now the differences are huge and I'm going to show you. For example the metallic. If you look very carefully then you see with the candy it is a very clean metallic and you can see my reflection, you can see the camera. While in this one it's very blurry. That's because of the pigments. Transparent paints have pigments. No matter how transparent they are they will always carry pigments and they do give a loss of transparency there's no way around it well a candy is a dye so there are no real pigments in there so that's a huge difference so if you're going for a, a metallic or a, a let's say a foiled lure a chromed bait um, a lure with holographic foil and you want that that color that's that the foil has or the holographic foil or whatever if you want to have that shine really come true go for a candy do a ba candy base coat do an inner coat or just leave it like that and paint over that that result is amazing instead of the the transparent paint it's not bad it's not bad I'm not saying it's ugly or anything but it's just a totally different result Going on to the transparent spoons, then you can see that the blue, the dark blue with the transparent paint has a, a little loss of transparency, while the candy is perfectly transparent, you can see everything through, I even see the dirt on the back, uh, which I don't see with the transparent paint, which is a huge difference, so also if you're doing transparent lures and you, will you want to keep full transparency on there, use a candy paint it's such a huge difference really and last but not least if you see on the candy how the black is still black like a really nice dark like a black should be and here the black is kind of vague because slowly but surely the blue pigments are covering the black 
and that's why the black is getting more vague and fading out actually while with a candy you will keep your color now what's what's good about this or how should I apply this into a lure painting I have an example right here he's not finished yet he's just got one coat so as you can see here what I did is I sprayed white first on the head then I used some crackle medium I went over this with wicked moss detail green and then I took a cotton swap and I made the cracks bigger so the crackle medium made all these small nice subtle cracks in there hope you can see those and with a color swap I made all the the, the cracks much bigger made it, made it very irregular and then I went over it with a curry blue so the curry blue doesn't really affect the dark green that much and that's the nice thing about candies they they darken they darken colors but very very slightly very slowly so what do I get all the white becomes this night nice vibrant blue but the green just darkens a little bit it doesn't darken extremely much so it becomes like a green blue or a, like a teal it still is green but all the white in between there even the small cracks and everything became this nice bright blue and that's what you can do with candies if you would do this with a transparent paint your green wouldn't be green anymore it will be teal or even like this dark bluish kind of color and then you lose then you lose the whole concept or the whole effect of this so that's something really cool you can do with candies as well so to wrap this all up with candy you can do a lot of different things which you cannot do with transparent paints but on the other hand transparent paints are very nice to do base coats with if you don't want full transparency you want this kind of blurry body effect or when you're covering uh, a foil and you don't want it to be perfectly transparent and shiny so you you want to dull the shyness a little bit then a transparent paint is perfect for you and for the candies these paints are great if you want to keep all the transparency if you want to keep all the flash in your foils or whatever is under beneath if you use some glitter and you want to cover the glitter with candy that's also perfectly fine gets really cool the results if you're doing uh, highlighting and shading and you want to give it a totally totally different color and you want to give your highlights a totally different color like on this lure in the head then candies are perfect these things just do not turn out as good with transparent paints it's much the result is much better with candies if you want to know more about transparent paints and candies and everything then make sure you watch my video about what paint I should use for lure painting so that was my quick comparison between candy and transparent paints for lure painting and what you can do with those. Thank you for watching and have a nice day. Bye bye.